Dan, initial reactions? Uh, gutted. There must still be a lot of pride with the way you performed to get out of that group with those injuries. I know, I know everyone keeps harking back to it. Yeah, well, you know, we can't use the injuries as an excuse. Every, every team has had injuries. So, um, no, nah, you know, our performance probably won't as good as it should have been today. And our discipline, we give away a lot of penalties, which we kept the scoreboard ticking over for them. So, um, yeah, like I said, it's still a bit raw at the minute. So, you got to be missing out on the Australian game, but, was, you know, I was, I was over the moon. You know, to have the operation, they said I could play. Gats said he'd rest me that week, which was a bit gutted about, but there's you know, better than you know, Justin Timbrick to you know, come in and him and Sam played exceptionally well with Toby last week, so I was really nervous for team selection this week. You know, my cheek was fine this day, but uh, it's not it's sort of any consolation there. Uh. Do you think the crux of today's loss was the fact that you guys seemed to have much the better of the first half, but ultimately only, as you alluded to, because of those penalties, came out of a one-point lead? Yeah, we've probably got ourselves to blame there. Some of the penalties were really soft. Oh, you know, they're a you know, quality outfit. I loved it, though. You know, the boys really dug in, and I suppose we take something from that, but ultimately it's about the result, and we'll look over it the next few days. And Do you think the way the boys who've had to come into the squad who maybe weren't expecting to play as much as they did, and the way they performed is something that can be taken as a massive positive, particularly Davis at scrum half? Yeah, I think there's always been a question with strength and depth, and the boys that have trained all summer and the boys have come in they've definitely put their hands up and been main players for us so it's um, all credit to them and hopefully it'll bode well for the future you faced both South Africa and Australia now which opponent did you find more difficult and which one if you had to sort of pick is there a particular team who you'd see as the team to beat now in terms of winning this tournament I don't know, I don't play against Australia, so um, no, you know, all credit to South Africa to be honest, you know, from where they started the uh, tournament against Japan and uh, as you know it's knockout rugby for them from, uh, straight from the off. The real good guys off, uh, off the field and you just wish them all the best uh, go for.